Most of you know that uh, Rick Scott, the governor, the statewide day of prayer for unity in Florida, freedom, there's no real freedom without unity. He wrote this out. We're just going to come into agreement with it. Whereas the people of Florida are strong and optimistic people who band together in times of crisis, and whereas Florida has faced many challenges before, including natural disasters with a spirit of unity and perseverance, and whereas the death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin is a tragedy, and the Martin family, the family of George Zimmerman, and all those affected by Trayvon's death remain in our thoughts and prayers. And whereas emotions are running high as we continue to grieve the loss of Trayvon and the toll that the tragic events surrounding his death have taken on the community of Sanford, Florida and other communities across our state, and whereas tragic events compel us to a time of deep reflection and prayer to find strength and peace in uncertainty, and whereas Floridians are united in not only their resilience, but also in a, in a being a people of great humility, kindness, and compassion. Now therefore I, Rick Scott, governor of the state of Florida, do hereby declare Sunday, July the 21st, as a statewide day of prayer for unity in Florida. And so Father, right now, in the midst of all of the turmoil and the confusion and words being thrown and emotions going rampant. God, we thank you for a governor. Now, Father, we line up with the heart that he has to see not just natural justice, but kingdom justice. Not just a peace that comes in the natural, but that which is called forth in the supernatural. And so God, even into these things now, once again, as we did last night, we release blood-covered peace. Come on, into the land, into the voice of the land. Those destructive voices from the past that want to do everything to once again tie into racism. They want to once again tie into things of hatred, to want to bring up things of ridicule. Now, God, we release peace, a peace that will quiet, that will silence, that will annihilate. We release the substance of heaven that carries within it a love that overcomes anger, a love that destroys ridicule, a love that destroys even the thought of mistreatment. And Father, we're not a people in this state that are held hostage by how we've been treated in the past. So we are not a state of people that stand in a place where we are held hostage by pain of the past and things of the past. We are a now people and every blood redeemed believer we come into a place of oneness with. Across the state of Florida, and we release now into the atmosphere all that is needed to overcome confusion, anxiety, hostility, tension, distress, even grieving that carries within it anger. Father, we do step into the place of intercessorial agreement with the pain that has gone forth because of these things. But God, through your Son, you are a healer of pain. You are a healer of pain. And we release your powerful healing now to go deep into families that are represented and bring about healing. Now, Father, we decree that in some way supernaturally that those that are represented even in both of these families that there will be something that begins to shift and take place. That they will not allow there to be separation, but by a, a supernatural healing, by a supernatural grace, that in some way, God, they might be able to see your face in the midst of these things. 
and from the place of seeing your face there might be pronouncements made that are filled with grace and that are filled with love and that are filled with forgiveness and that are filled with newness that carry nothing of the old as for we that carry any sort of stewardship of the atmosphere of this state we say we are a people that are filled with grace we are a people that are filled with love we are a people that are filled with wisdom and revelation that has everything to do with now and we are not going to be a state that is swayed by this and God if we're to be your forerunner state then let it happen quickly so that what has gone on from the east coast to the west coast of stirring up trouble that now that trouble will cease come on if we are indeed a forerunner state we're not going to be a forerunner state known for stirring up anger and anxiety and hatred but we're going to be a state that reflects that which is in Abba Father's heart so we say trouble we release the power of the blood of Jesus into every environment of trouble into every word of trouble and now God you sit on the throne in these things man doesn't sit on the throne in these things we will not allow come on we're back in the courtroom God you sit on the throne and from the place of the courts of heaven then God you can indeed change hearts are in the midst of not changing hearts you can bring forth what is truth in the midst of deception now we've done things from right here in this place of decrees and things all the way to the White House we did we've done it I believe God has established this ground as one of those places so then right now that which even that spirit in the White House that wants to use this to stir up animosity that wants to stir up that which is false and not true that which wants to go back to history that has been forgiven has been repented for has been cleansed we say even to the White House enough is enough enough is enough it's a God of every tribe and tongue our God is a God that represents every color every ethnic group no one left out they are all important so we say let the nonsense stop even all the way to the top Obama we release even now a wind of the fear of the Lord we release now even that which brings forth love instead of condemnation that which brings forth truth instead of lies we release the wind that will now move all the way up I-95 move now wind all the way up I-95 move now like a river like a wind all the way up I-95 and move on to the grounds of the White House of the United States of America and God let it be a time to stop the nonsense to stop the nonsense to stop the nonsense I, I do and have for four years as much as that part of the church the ecclesia that that portion that is not looking to choose one side or the other but that side that is more interested in the kingdom of God being established than a political party. That part that, that something inside of them is saying, hey, you know, this, it's, this is not the way it should be. And not from a standpoint in right and wrong, but from a standpoint of knowing God's heart. God loves people, period. Loves them all. 
He sent His Son and let blood be spilt so that we come into a place that represents His kingdom. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm not choosing sides. Sides already, it's God's side. And in all of these things, that's what I'm talking about. It, it, is, it is time, I, I agree, it's time for a praying church. And it's not that there's not a praying church, there is. But something that now begins time once again for there to be again signs and wonders that are released upon the land of those places that are capitals in our nation that are totally filled with unrighteousness it's time once again I can remember we did this two years ago you might have been there when we were at the convening at the rock and we were dealing with things up and down I-95 we begin, begin to prophesy, even, even make decrees in terms of the establishment of secret societies. And those things that have caused an unholy mixture of what, what is righteous and not what is not righteous. And I can remember that a sign came that when things were shaken there, that the, the monument was shaken. It was a sign saying God says I recognize that there are false monuments that there are false gods and I was just reminded here tonight I say it's time once again for a shaking I don't want anything disaster wise I don't want anybody hurt that's not what I'm saying God says I'll start with the house of God but I'm going to shake everything that needs to be shaken and it's been prophesied, it's been said, and even to go from glory to glory, it means that there's things that need to be absolutely removed and changed. So once again, God, shake in any way that is needed that will once again get their attention. But don't let it be something that only gets their attention for three weeks or three months. But let it be something, God, that will cause them to go to their knees and the fear of the Lord come. But I tell you this, it is very, very dangerous. The decisions that they are making that have to do with economics, that have to do with our future. They want to do everything. They don't want panic, so they're going to cover up the truth. They're not telling the people the truth telling you what they say coming out of a recession it's a lie because it doesn't have to do what we want to base it on is our own personal comforts no think about where we are the decisions that are being made that have to do with our grandchildren it is deep and it is very very dangerous what they are doing right now and God is not happy God said in terms of even in the Old Testament when it comes to these kinds of things, there is a scale. And I, I believe and I'm decreeing that God looks at it and, and everything, even that's going on no matter how it, how it, which way it goes, God's hand is upon it. And what, whatever, whatever it takes, whatever, I'm telling you the other side, the other side, of what it, in terms of even this nation, whatever that means. I don't know all that means. I'm telling you, but the greatest of the light of the glory of God upon the church of God in America is going to shine. It's going to shine. And do not back off. Do not give up. Do not let the enemy in any way take you out of your position. No, don't.